Okay, so in this video, I am gonna show how to do a skinny in a mug press. This is a 20 ounce skinny. This is a hog outfitter skinny tumbler with two different types of screw on lids. I don't particularly like um, these ones. The finish isn't, I don't know, as well as I think it should be. So I've already cleaned these with alcohol. I'm leaving the top on there so I can see where the center is to put the design on. This design is a plain white design with just letters, so I'm not really too concerned about the seam, but we're gonna line this up and I will show you how I tape it. All right, so I have this lightly wrapped, so it's wrapped here. I put one piece of tape on there. I'm gonna do the top and the bottom. I'm gonna remove the top now so I can tape the top and the bottom. You can see I don't go all the way to the top because on the top of this tumbler, it kind of indents in, um, so it'll have the little pucker marks. And on the bottom, I add safety bumpers to all of my um, tumblers and water bottles that I do. So I am going to tape the top and tape the bottom, and then I'm gonna go right down the seam. Sorry, my lighting is a little horrible. This is the first time I'm using the blue tape, heat tape. Um, so we'll see how that works. I use my legs to kind of hold it in place. I start from the middle and I go out to try to make it as tight as I can. If there's any ear bubbles, I use my nails. You can roll the tape over. So you can see there, I've done the top all the way around. Rolled it over, use your nails if you have them because they work fabulous. So now I'm gonna do the bottom, same way. The brown tape is thinner than this tape, so it actually stretches better. Like I said, on this one, it's not a seamless design. It doesn't really matter. It's white, so I'm not too concerned about it. I am going to wrap this in a shrink film, so I'm not too concerned about that either. I am going to put tape all the way up. I use a lot of tape, which you probably don't need to, and I'm sure other people do it different ways. Okay, so you can see I've gone all the way up the seam. Like I said, this is a white design, so I'm not too concerned about it. There are some little air bubbles here, but hopefully they'll go out with um, the shrink film. I rolled over the bottom, so it's half on, half off the tumbler. I'm going to wrap this in shrink film now. Um, these tumblers I got from Stainless Depot. The this was printed on my 2720 using Hippo brand ink from Amazon, and I'm using 120 um, A sub paper. Okay, so I have my mug press heating up. I've already um, have this set for my tumbler. They will not shut all the way, which is why you do four presses. So I have my mug press set on 390. For 60 seconds, you're gonna do four different positions for this. You can see I put shrink film on this. Um, I will also do a video on doing the masking tape method because um, that works also. Okay, so I've marked my halfway point where the seam runs and on this. So when I put it in there, I'm not hitting the exact same halfway point every time I do the four presses. So we're going to put it in now. I'm going to put it in just like this. I have the seam side down. I'm not going all the way to the end. I'm trying to maintain my pressure. You see my mark on there? I'm gonna set it for the 60 seconds and I'll turn the video back on when we flip. Okay, so I'm flipping this and you gotta do it fast. Same 
same thing, not keeping my, going right at the same one, but I'm staying on the same half. I flipped it, so I did the top back first. I'm doing the top, or the back bottom now. If you can see, let me move this. You can see I'm not to the bottom of it yet. Sorry, still getting used to this whole tripod thing. Okay, now I'm going to flip it around to the front. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it again to the top, so it's almost done. You can see the heat, the um, shrink film is starting to melt. It will do that. Um, if you're concerned that you have crappy heat, um, heat wraps, you can put blowout paper on it. Okay, we are done. I'm gonna turn it off. You can see the image obviously through it. And now I'm gonna take the shrink film off. So I am going to take this off. Hot, obviously. Okay, so the shrink film obviously is coming off in little itty bitty pieces. Okay. So you can see what it looks like. It's got a rougher finish on it right now, so I'm going to try to wash it and see if it comes off. Okay, so I literally just took a washcloth and regular soap and just ran over it to get the roughness off. I don't know if it's from the paper or what, but you can see here is the cup. This one obviously is a little easier because this one has a whitish background. So that's where the seam would be. And as I said, I use bumpers on the bottom of mine. So this is... I believe a 70 millimeter bumper and I get these from DHgate um, so you can see instead of the rubber stopper you have this I use these for my water bottles also I will do another video on how to do it without the shrink film and use masking tape but this is how you do it in the mug press nothing burned everything looks good Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.